friends let us now learn some important points about typhilitis 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 okay what is this typhilitis this is actually neutropenic or necrotizing colitis typhilitis is neutropenic or necrotizing colitis we can also call it has this uh, this has several names it is called has ileocecal syndrome or we can call it has cecitis so here there is inflammation of the uh, intestine especially large intestine is seen after especially in patients with neutropenia or after chemotherapy with cytotoxic agents so this is seen in children uh, especially suffering from aml that is acute myeloid leukemia or acute lymphocytic leukemia so if you see the clinical features here the patient presents with fever or lower right lower quadrant uh, tenderness is seen and the patient also suffers from diarrhea all these are mainly seen in the immunocompromised patients then if we see the diagnosis in the diagnosis on usg you will see the presence of thickened cecal wall is seen both on usg and also ct scan usg and ct scan you will see presence of thickened cecal wall then if you do the treatment after diagnosis for treatment most of the patients improve after medical therapy that is antibiotics can be given then indications for surgery if you see surgery is mainly done if there is no improvement of after giving antibiotics for 24 hours or if there is any perforation in such cases we should give this uh, surgery should be done so this is about the disease that is uh, typhilitis then after this typhilitis then the next important uh, disease is about the superior vena cava syndrome so this superior vena cava syndrome is here that the superior vena cava so we have superior vena, okay we have to the heart we have two one is inferior vena cava and superior vena cava drain into the right atrium okay so whenever there is a blockage of superior vena cava most importantly whenever there is small cell carcinoma of lung the small cell carcinoma of lung this will block the superior vena cava um it will compress the superior vena cava and thus resulting in decreased venous return from head and neck and extremities uh, to the heart and as a result there is increased congestion of the head and neck and extremities is seen then the mo if you were asked what is the most common cause of superior vena cava syndrome in young adults in young adults the most common cause is malignant lymphoma is the most common cause of superior uh, vena cava syndrome in adults okay next next here the here the main problem is because the there is no proper drainage uh to the from the upper limb so from the head and neck head and neck and also the upper extremities here the patient has a uh, neck and facial swelling is seen the patient presents with neck and facial swelling especially around the eyes and the patient will have dyspnea cough there will be dysphagia hoarseness of voice is seen dysphagia hoarseness of voice is seen or you can also see presence of tongue swelling may be seen with headache and nasal uh, stuffiness are seen so these are the important clinical features that you see then if you find if you see the findings you will see presence of dilated veins over the chest wall and the neck and you will see increased col so over the the over the chest wall and the neck you will see presence of dilated veins are seen over the chest wall and the neck and you will also see the presence of cyanosis is seen 
especially and you will see the presence of edema especially over the face arm and chest okay this is about the clinical features and uh, uh, examination of superior vena cava syndrome then if you see the diagnosis investigation of choice for superior vena cava syndrome is cct then you can also do chest x ray this chest x ray will show the widening of superior mediastinum will show and this is most commonly seen on the right side then if you see the treatment treatment is it has life threatening complications like tracheal obstruction can occur in uh, tracheal obstruction is actually the life threatening complication in such cases we will have to do emergency surgery should be done so first and foremost thing is treat the underlying cause so treat the underlying cause so you will have to give radiotherapy to non small cell lung carcinoma and if it is small cell lung carcinoma then we should give um, chemotherapy should be given if it is small cell lung carcinoma and for lymphoma also we should give chemotherapy and in rest of the cases we can do surgery so main important thing is remove the tumor either by surgery or by doing chemotherapy or radiotherapy this is about superior vena cava obstruction thank you for watching